So this is going to be part two of my making a backbow reamer video series. And this is going to be about hardening the mandrel that we're going to make the reamer out of. So the reamer is made out of O1 tool steel, which means it's quenchable in oil, not water. So you use quenching oil. Basically, you heat it up red hot and then quench it. You do that twice. I'll, we'll go over that. And you use quenching oil, and it has to be real quenching oil. This quenching oil is it kind of looks like crude oil, actually. I'm going to use map gas. Propane won't get hot enough. I'm going to hold it with a vice grip like that to get it hot. So now we get it red hot, red hot. First it'll turn blue. Blue means it's at about 900 degrees. We need to get it up to about, I think, 1800 degrees to get it red hot. Big end takes a lot of heat to get red hot. The small end doesn't take as much heat, so you don't want to spend a lot of time on the small end because you want to kind of get it to be red hot kind of evenly, otherwise it'll warp when you quench it. It's starting to get red hot now. So I'll spend most of my time here on the big end. Go down, more time on the big end. When you go to the small end, the big end kind of gets cool. You gotta get this baby as hot, hot, red, hot. Now the little end gets kind of cool pretty quick too. So. When it comes time, we gotta be passing this flame kind of quickly from one end to the other. See I'm getting red hot here?
cools off really fast. another torch. So I can keep one torch on the big end. I can keep heat on the big end so it doesn't cool off so fast. See how the end is red, that's what you want. Bright red, cherry red. It's kinda hard to get the whole thing to be that hot. takes about it'll take about 30 seconds to get down to the temperature so the way oil works takes a long time to cool it water cools it way faster than certain kinds of metal tool steel you quench in water Oil is, what when you quench in water, it tends to warp the mandrel. It's kind of like two out of ten times your mandrel might bend. And then if you do oil, it's much better because the it doesn't quench and change temperature so fast, I guess. So right now the oil is probably pretty hot. Anyway. Now, what we're gonna do next, we're gonna polish this, make it like shiny again, and then we're gonna heat it again, but we're gonna get up to 900, which means it's gonna be blue, dark blue, 
Then we're going to quench it again. Right now, if I, if I just leave it this way, it's hard, but brittle, and if it'll break. So we don't want it to break. We want it to be not quite as brittle, so we're going to heat it again to relieve the hardness. There's a lot of YouTubes on YouTube, videos on YouTube about how to do this. Generally, it's when you make a knife. This is a kind of a knife-making technique. So right now, see all this scale and black stuff? All this burnt stuff? We're going to polish that off. We're going to spin it in the lathe and just use a, a, uh, a scratch pad, you know, a, like a, one of those scotch brights, and it'll take all this stuff off and make it nice and shiny. Before we do that, we're going to check the hardness. Now, way up here, it's probably not hard because it didn't get red hot up into here because the, the uh, vice grips is holding it here. So, yeah, I can feel that. It's kind of hard, but my file, I can feel it's grabbing into it a little bit. Let's check here. Oh, yeah, totally different there. So it's, it's hard here. But it's a little soft there. So I know that I know that the hardening worked. So now we can polish. So now it's nice and clean. And we're going to heat it again until the color of that turns dark blue, which won't take very long. And then we'll quench it again. Dark blue is about, I think, eight or 900 degrees. Um, by the way, when you, I clean this, I, you always spin it in the lathe to clean it. And then you'll see if it bent and this one did not. So when I put it back in the lathe, it was spinning really nice and straight. So I know I'm good. Now here we go, we're gonna heat it again. We gotta watch it kind of careful because we don't want it to get any hotter than 900. First it'll turn yellow. Spend a little more time up here. I'll turn yellow first. That means I think 300. <clears throat> then you'll see it turn dark blue, and that's where you want it. It's starting to turn yellow. On the small end, it's almost blue on the small end. And here we go. It's already blue here. Dark blue. Now we're going to quench again. Let the quenching take about, <coughs> excuse me, about 20 seconds. This is also called tempering. First, the first step was hardening, and this is tempering because I'm making it less hard. I'm tempering the hardness, making it so that it won't break if it gets dropped or if it gets shocked somehow. So after we do this, we'll polish it again, take the blue color off. Then we have to <clears throat> grind it and put a sharp, uh, put a sharp edge on it. Uh, with, that'll be the third part of this video. So here, here's again before we polish it. See uh, the blue color. good. When we grind it, we're going to grind half of this away and it'll be, a, a, from the end, it'll be a half moon shape. And then it'll be, that's what we call a single flute reamer or a spade cutter or a half moon reamer or a backboard tool. So there you go.